Good morning. I added a third gear to test it. Now we have some interesting phenomena happening, which inspires me to do four. Okay, so we have south, south, north, all aligned in a straight line. Okay, so this is a balance point right about here because north is attracting south and north is attracting south equally. Okay, now as it goes this way, the north and south start to align and it locks there and this south and this north start to align then this north and this south start to align and this south and this star north start to align then this north and that south start to align then this north and that south start to align you can see what I'm saying it makes a harmony uh, a more balanced harmony and we're actually starting to have a full rotating magnetic field at the center point. Now remember, it's not 100% balanced because I have metal here, which is attracting this magnet's attracted to the metal more than these two, or these two are more than this one, and my geometry isn't that precise. This is just a test model. But anyway, you could see, now we're starting to get a balance. And we're creating a rotating magnetic field in the middle. So picture this bolt. North is coming in. North is going out. Now it's full south. Now it's full north. Now it's full south. South is waning. North is growing. North is growing even more. Now it's full north. Now north is waning. South is growing. And we have a rotating magnetic field in the middle. Why, why is this spectacular? Because usually a rotating magnetic field just has two poles, a north and a south. Okay? But on this one, when the coil of a generator is here, it's producing a magnetic field and that magnetic field is opposing the motion of the main one but it's also either helping or opposing the side ones at the same time now this phase is considered destructive destruct not good because it's three and it's above the zero line what I mean is take a circle right actually let's align it like this take a circle and make it a northern hemisphere positive and a southern hemisphere negative okay positive negative divided by hemispheres whenever you have one in a positive hemisphere you have two in a negative or whenever you have two in a positive you have one in a negative you can never have equal or you, or you can never have them more in a positive than a negative well no that's not true you can but there will always be an, uh, more on one side of the hemisphere than the other side it's not a hundred percent balanced now, so it can't harmonize. You can't connect three phase in series. You have to use diodes and rectify it to direct current. Now, if I had four, picture four, these were moved up to 90. Let's put it back here where it stays. If you had four, these were in 90, and there's one up here. Now, your hemispheres would be exactly divided. You, you would have two on the zero line, one on the north, one on the south. Then you could series them all together without diodes therefore that phase becomes constructive okay. so we want to see what happens when we add four I know it sucks printing this because it takes a long time because this space god I have two bearings and I have it heavy infill so if I print it I might do a little cheesier for test purposes but this is a uh, very interesting with three Rotating magnetic field in the middle. While we have action where they're starting to. Starting to complement each other. They're starting to merge and smooth. Cool.